Hello, I'm Pastor Chris Mathis from Epiphany Lutheran Church in Castle Rock, Colorado, and thank you for tuning in for the Psalm a Day Daily Devotion. Today we're going to take two psalms together, Psalm 147 and Psalm 148. Today our psalm is Psalm 147, <clears throat> and we read, Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God. For it is pleasant, and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make melody to our God on the lyre. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the beasts their food and to the young ravens that cry. His delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of man. But the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him and those who hope in his steadfast love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he strengthens the bars of your gates. He blesses your children within you. He makes peace in your borders. He fills you with the finest of the wheat. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He hurls down his crystals of ice like crumbs. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and rules to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his rules. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. And now Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his hosts. Praise him sun and moon. Praise him all you shining stars. Praise him you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. And he established them forever and ever. He gave a decree, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea creatures and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts and all livestock, creeping things and flying birds kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and maidens together, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people, praise for all his saints, for the people of Israel who are near to him. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 147 and Psalm 148 are really great because they go together. In Psalm 147, we see the sustaining hand of God in preserving his creation and caring for it, feeding the animals, uh, giving, feeding us with the finest of wheat, um, and of course, even numbering the stars and giving them their names. And then in Psalm 148, it turns around and the creation praises the Lord for doing all of these things, for being the creator, the sustainer, the redeemer, the, um, the, the one who uh, loves and, and cares for his creation. I really like to note how weather comes up in both of these psalms. In Psalm 147, verse 16, he gives snow like wool, he scatters frost 
like ashes. He hurls down his crystals of ice like crumbs who can stand before his cold. And then in 148 verse 8, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind fulfilling his word. I always find it remarkable that the weather obeys God's command and does a better job of doing what God wants than we do. We are sinful. The animals are not. The plants are not. The rivers and mountains and trees and the weather are not sinful. Now, they're subjected to futility because of our sin uh, and subject to the curse because of our sin, as we see in Genesis 3 and Romans chapter 8. But they themselves are not sinful. There's this rather interesting story in the Old Testament and it's about when King David was bringing the Ark of the Covenant to, um, to, to Israel from the land of the Philistines. And, um, and remember that the way that the Ark was supposed to uh, be carried was on posts um, carried by the priests. But in 2 Samuel chapter 6, in his uh, desire for, I guess, efficiency or something, King David decides to move the Ark of the Covenant on a cart, on a cart, instead of being carried by the priests. And there's a man named Uzzah, poor Uzzah, um, who is driving the cart. And they come to, you know, they're there in procession with all the, the singers and the throng, and they come to a place where um, the, the, the oxen stumble, and the Ark of the Covenant, the cart tips, and the Ark of the Covenant starts to fall, and Uzzah, you know, poor Uzzah, he reaches out his hand to try to steady the cart and the Ark so the Ark doesn't fall, and God strikes him dead for daring to touch the ark. Now people might ask, that doesn't seem very fair. You know, Uzzah was, you know, trying to prevent a, a mishap, an upset, quite literally with the ark. Um, but remember, they weren't carrying out God's command the way that they were supposed to. And also, why should God rather that the ark fall into the dirt and the mud than be touched by a human hand? Well, it's because the dirt and the mud are not sinful, but Uzzah is, and Uzzah's hand is sinful. And so it's kind of humbling to think, if you will, that the dirt and the mud are holier than we are, and that the weather is a better servant of God than we are. And yet God in his mercy sends his son Jesus to die for us, to forgive our sins, to bring us into his reign, into his kingdom, so that on the last day, we will hear the Father say, Well done, good and faithful servant. And we'll receive a crown of glory, not because we were so good and hoity-toity and holier than thou, but because the Holy Spirit made us holy by touching us with the holy things of his creation, water, bread, wine the word and the sacraments to make us the holy people of God, the communion of holy people and the holy things. Think about that. Have a great day and God bless you. Thank you for tuning in for the Psalm a Day daily devotion. If you have been blessed by this message and ministry, please be sure to leave a note or a question in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much, and may God bless you each and every day through Jesus Christ and his wonderful word.